Welcome to DeFi Crypto Today. Our topic today is X DeFi Wallet. It's supposed to be very fast and it's supposed to be a good alternative to MetaMask. And these days I've been looking for alternatives to MetaMask for various reasons. One of them was this message here. Uh, MetaMask and Infuria are willing to block countries by IP address. And according to this guy, it's only a matter of time until they're forced by regulators to censor individual people's IP addresses and so on. So uh, this guy says, we need alternatives immediately, hoping that uh, others won't do like this. And XDeFi uh, responded to that message and said, we do not track users' IP addresses or any other information. We're not owned by a regulated bank. We're, uh, we've built our own cross-chain AP, API. We will strive to protect your privacy rights. We're independent. The key word here is privacy rights. I want tools that help me preserve my privacy because I think it's valuable and uh, more secure if I can keep my privacy online. Blockchain is not private. Blockchain is public. All your transactions are in the public domain and people can see where you're sending your tokens, where you're investing them, how much money you're making and so on and so on. Okay, that, that, that's a fact. We all know that or we should know that if you're not aware of it. And, and it's only recently that I discovered that the way MetaMask is set up, it's very centralized. Blockchain itself, uh, especially on Ethereum and other uh, uh, and some other blockchains, is very decentralized. And that makes it difficult to censor and difficult to, 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 to block. However, MetaMask and Infuria turn, become a, a bottleneck, okay, where everything is centralized. Uh, MetaMask and Infuria can block people and countries by IP addresses. So, if for any reason, okay, sometimes there might be legitimate reasons, and sometimes it's like, why would the government block an entire country, like Venezuela? Does it mean that every single human being that uses crypto in Venezuela is a criminal? I, I, I don't think so. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, maybe every single human being in uh, Venezuela is, uh, is a criminal. Okay, but I doubt that. They're, I'm sure there's regular people there, okay, uh, that just do go about their own business and, uh, you know, are honest folks. I don't think it's up to MetaMask to decide, okay, if uh, they should uh, block those people from using their uh, their product, okay, and have access to to blockchain. And I mean, but if you're an honest person and you happen to live in Venezuela, and now you can't access your crypto anymore, at least not through uh, MetaMask, how are you gonna feel, okay? Uh, I mean, what, what if you're using a, a product, okay, like MetaMask? MetaMask happens to be owned by Consensus, which is located in the United States. So the United States decided, okay, we're, we want to block Venezuela. All right, maybe one day they decide to block Canada for whatever reason, or they block uh, any country in the world, right? I don't know. I don't want to be at the mercy of politicians that decide willy-nilly, okay, uh, today we block uh, that country, or we block these people, or we block Muslims, or we block uh, whatever. Okay? I don't think that's fair. Okay? We should have the power to decide where we want our, uh, to put our money and what we want to do with it. That's ours. That's not theirs. Okay? And I want to find tools that help us, help me keep my money where I want to keep my money. I don't want to do anything illegal. I'm not dealing drugs. I'm not uh, selling uh, weapons or anything. I'm not, I just want to invest my own freaking money the way I want. Okay. I don't want to be at the mercy of uh, politicians around the world that decide whatever they want to do. Okay. Uh, you know, 
thousands of kilometers away from my home. Okay, I don't know them, they don't know me, but they want to block me. I mean, I don't live in Venezuela, but who knows, maybe they're going to block Thailand tomorrow. I live in Thailand. Who knows, right? I don't want to be at the mercy of uh, politicians' uh, will. Okay, that, that that's ridiculous. So, anyway, the whole point of this <laughs> is to try to find tools that, are, uh, that can help us preserve our privacy. XD5 claims to be able to do that. So we're gonna today we're gonna test it and see how it, how it goes. All right. So let's go here. This is their main page. The links for all this are in the description below. So they claim to be very fast. It's also integrated on several uh, blockchains, including Terra, Torchain, Ethereum, and other EVM. EVM is uh, Ethereum uh, virtual machine uh, chains. Okay, Th so those are chains like Avalanche, for instance, that are compatible with Ethereum because uh, they work using an EVM. It's supposed to be fast, affordable, cross-chain swaps. So you could do swaps directly on uh, the wallet. Also, it, uh, it's supposed to be able to display your NFTs directly in the wallet, which is not possible on MetaMask at the moment. So it looks like it, it is functional, but we're going to test. I'm going to see this uh, today. It's the first time I'm using it. So we're going to see if uh, it, it lives up to its promises. All right. So how do we do that? Well, first thing is you click on download here. And that brings you here. Now, at the moment, it's only available on Chrome, Brave, and I believe uh, it should work on Opera uh, because Opera is a clone, uh, Chrome clone. But it's supposed to be coming to Firefox soon. It's supposed to be coming to Firefox soon. Anyway, so let's add it. Yes, we want to add the extension. And that should be added. There it is. All right, so now we have XDeFi uh, set up in here. Now, what I want to do is transfer uh, my account from MetaMask and put it in XDeFi. I don't want to create an, yet another wallet. I'm going to use a wallet that I already have in MetaMask and I want to put it there. So how do we do that? They have instructions on how to do it here. The link is in the description. You can migrate your uh, your wallet from MetaMask or from Terra Station if you're using uh, Terra. Uh, but we're going to try uh, this one today. I'm not going to try this one. But I'll, I'll keep the links in the description uh, so that you have the instructions to do either. So this one is from MetaMask. We also have a little video explaining how to do it. So basically the steps, I'll, I'll tell you the steps and then uh, when it comes to the time of moving my, um, of copying and pasting my uh, seed phrase, we're going to stop the video and then I'll come back after it's done. I don't want you to see my seed phrase. <laughs> it wouldn't be safe. All right. So you log in your MetaMask. Okay. Then you've got your wallet here and you click on that ball. And uh, you go down to setting. Uh, settings and then you go to security and privacy and then at that point it says reveal your secret recovery phrase okay that's the part i don't want to show you so after you click on that you type in your password and it's going to give you access to uh, your seed phrase which you can copy and then we you open up uh, xd5 and you should be able to paste it in there Okay, so I'm going to show you the, the steps and then I'll perform it. So this is an example of uh, the, the seed phrase, the recovery phrase. Okay, and then when you start um, XD5, it's going to look like this. And then it's going to ask you uh, to accept the terms and conditions and you click on restore XD5 wallet. So re restore, then you enter the secret phrase that you got from your MetaMask. You paste it there. Then you enter, you confirm, and you type a new password for XD5. 
Then you name your wallet, whatever you want, and you click on the next button. Then you choose uh, whether or not to make XDeFi wallet your default wa uh, browser wallet. So on this, because you're gonna have, uh, unless you remove MetaMask from, uh, from Chrome, you, you might want to keep MetaMask and XDeFi. And in this case, uh, you can set uh, XDeFi as the default wallet, okay? So if you go to a protocol, and you want to stake some uh, tokens there or withdraw some tokens or uh, perform a swap or whatever, uh, you can uh, have it set as the default. So it's not gonna go to MetaMask, it's gonna go to XDeFi instead. And if you change your mind and you say, eh, I don't like XDeFi, well, you can uh, switch the default uh, off if you want to, okay? Or you can just remove XDeFi, uh, the, the XDeFi extension but uh, you have the choice, okay? So uh, let's try it. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna show you the steps live. I'm gonna cut the video and then I'll show you on XDefy what I, what I did, okay? So we're gonna go here, go to settings, go to security and privacy. It says uh, reveal the secret recovery phrase. You click that and you would type in your password here. And uh, once that's done, uh, this uh, recovery phrase is gonna appear. So I'm not gonna do that right now. I wanna go to XD5 first. So I'm gonna pin that here. And we start XD5. Let's get started, yes, okay. So you have create XDeFi wallet. That would be good if uh, if you don't have MetaMask and you never had XDeFi and you're just starting from scratch. But in our case, we want to restore XDeFi wallet because we already have an existing wallet on MetaMask. So I'm gonna use this. Now, if you had a hardware wallet um, like um, Treasure, I guess, and uh, Ledger, you could use them here. But let's go with this first. Please confirm. The, oh, yeah, I need to confirm this stuff first. And I'll go here. So restore with a secret phrase. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to cut the video. I'm going to uh, collect my uh, MetaMask secret phrase. I'm going to put it here. Then I'm going to put a new password and I'm going to hit next. So you're not going to see uh, the text I'm typing here. Okay but uh, I'll show you what happens after next. So I'm gonna cut the video and then come back. Okay, so we're back. I performed the operation. I copied my um, recovery phrase from MetaMask and I pasted it on XDeFi and I added a, a password to XDeFi. Now uh, they asked me to add a name for this wallet. So I'm putting de my demo name. I'm gonna go next and make XDeFi the default. So yeah. Why not? Uh, so this way it will take priority over MetaMask, Terra Station, or whatever. Uh, if I have um, if I have these other uh, wallets already installed, then XDeFi will take precedence. And uh, you can, if you change your mind, you can switch it off. Then you hit next. Now, these are the blockchains that are currently available. It's not all blockchains, okay? So use those, select those that uh, you want to use, okay? And um, you can turn off those that you don't need. So for instance, uh, right now, well, you want Ethereum, you want Polygon. This is Binance, not Binance Smart Chain. So on this one, I don't care. Avalanche is there, Bitcoin is there, Litecoin, I never use Litecoin, so I don't need it. Terra, I, uh, I might want to use that. Uh, Torchain, maybe I haven't used Torchain yet, but uh, I guess it's a good idea to have it there. Binance Smart Chain is there. Bitcoin Cash, I never use that either. So those are those are already not selected, so I don't need to change anything. You're going to notice that it does not contain every single blockchain that exists. Okay, it doesn't have Arbitrum, it doesn't have Optimism, it doesn't have Phantom, and, and others. Okay. 
but I'm just testing this. I just want to know what works. Okay, so let, let's check it out. So we hit complete. Yeah, so you can always change that later. Okay, so now we can open the extension. This is the extension here. All right, it says make sure it's set as the default. Our logo isn't displayed yet in the connection list for some web apps. You can still use the wallet to connect with them. To use XD5 with these web apps, you need to uh, select browser wallet and click the logo of another wallet like MetaMask, and then uh, you should still be able to connect to XD5. That's what it's saying right now. And then it says, please uh, join the Discord channel if you need help. Uh, I'll show it to you in a minute and le le let's see how it looks. Okay, so uh, right now, the way I see it, it looks like it's uh, putting uh, coins from all my uh, different uh, blockchains together on this here. Okay, you can send, receive, and buy. Let's check this. So right now it's set up for Ethereum. If I wanted to uh, check, uh, let's see, Avalanche. Okay. Yeah, so it, it shows uh, my investments and everything I've got uh, on this uh, account. That looks pretty normal. So if I were to go to any of them, it, it should just work. Okay, so right now it doesn't have XDeFi listed, but if I click on MetaMask, it will take over. Yeah, so that, that connects. All right, so if you use XDeFi, and XDeFi is not listed in the wallets uh, for that protocol, try MetaMask, that seems to be working. So I guess I could just do a swap or anything here. That, 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 that should just work. Okay, so uh, that gives you an idea of uh, how to use uh, XDeFi. Consider that as a possibility uh, to use instead of MetaMask if you're concerned about your privacy and if you're concerned about uh, getting uh, your country blocked at some point or another by any, any government on the planet. Okay, that, uh, they might give you, uh, that might give you issues. Uh, I, I think it's a good idea to have alternatives to MetaMask, especially since MetaMask is very centralized and its configuration with Infuria makes it even more uh, uh, centralized than it should be. Uh, apparently, XDeFi doesn't have the same configuration, so that should help. All right, if you, uh, that's it for this video. If you like this kind of stuff, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell. Download the free book. All you have to do is put your name, your email address, and hit the submit button. You get your big fat button that says download the free book. And if you miss that button, well, we're going to send you an email that uh, has another button that says download the free book. And if you don't want to download the free book, well, go to Amazon, pay $5.99 to Jeff Bezos, and Jeff will send me a dollar. See ya.